गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ चैप्टर फर्स्ट दैट इज केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड इक्वेशन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन सी ड्यूरिंग अ केमिकल रिएक्शन एटम्स ऑफ वन एलिमेंट डू नॉट चेंज इन टू दो अनदर एलिमेंट नॉट डू एटम्स डिसअपियर फ्रॉम द मिक्सर or appear from elsewhere actually chemical reactions involve the breaking and making of bonds between atoms to produce new substance we had already discussed that about the mass mass can neither be created nor it is to be destroyed in any of the chemical reaction so the total mass of the element present in the product of a chemical reaction has to be equal to the total mass of the element present in the reactants in other words we can say the number of atoms of each element remains the same before and after a chemical reaction first type of chemical reaction which we are going to discuss that is combination reaction a combination reaction is a reaction where two or more elements or compounds combine to form a single compound such reactions it may be represented by equations of the following form that example is given x plus y it gives xy the combination of two or more elements and form one compound is known as is called combination reaction just see the in the example for combination reaction see 2h2 plus o2 two elements are there hydrogen and oxygen which are combining together and it is giving a single compound that is what it's a water so 2h2 plus o2 it gives two molecules of water now next type of chemical reaction that is decomposition reaction decomposition reaction is just opposite of combination reaction see in this a decomposition reaction is a type of chemical reaction in which a single compound it breaks down into two or more elements or new compounds these reactions often involve an energy source such as heat light or electricity that breaks apart the bonds of compounds in this we can take several examples from breaking down of a single compound i have given in fact in this i have taken in fact in this two examples okay i can discuss with one more example see calcium carbonate the formula of calcium carbonate it's what it's ca co3 which breaks down into two compound that is what cao calcium oxide and co2 that is carbon dioxide got it one more example we can take which is very easy that is silver chloride agcl or you can take two molecules of agcl which gives two molecules of ag and cl2 now next type of reaction that is displacement reaction in this a displacement reaction is the one wherein the atom or a set of atoms is displaced by another atom in a molecule for instance when iron is added to a copper sulfate solution it displaces the copper metal that is a plus b that minus c which gives a minus c plus b minus it means it represents the combination of the compound minus or you can say it's a dash okay 
The above equation exists when A is more reactive than B. It means more reactive element that displaces less reactive element. GCl2 plus 2KOH which combine and form magnesium hydroxide and it's 2KCl that is 2 molecules of potassium chloride that ones who displaces more reactive element that displaces less reactive element okay now next in this we can take several other examples which is given in uh, definition also see Fe plus CuSO4 which gives FeSO4 plus Cu Zn plus CuSO4 which gives ZnSO4 plus Cu Zn is more reactive than copper that is why zinc or Zn replace copper and form zinc sulfate Now next is double displacement reaction. A double displacement reaction that is also known as a double replacement reaction or metathesis is a type of chemical reaction where two compounds react and the positive ions that is cation and the negative ions that is anion of the two reactants switch places forming two new compounds or new products. See, this is also known as precipitation reaction because insoluble substance which is formed, that formation is, is known as precipitation. Any reaction that produces a precipitate can be called a precipitation reaction. See one example I have taken that is inter interchange of groups of atoms that is ions. It may be cations or anions. In this I have taken Na2SO4. Na2SO4 that is sodium sulfate. Sodium sulfate when it reacts with barium chloride the formula of barium chloride is BaCl2. Two new product will form or two new compound will form. So what will form? It form BaSO4 that is barium sulfate and sodium chloride. Both the compounds which are formed both are new and this is no. Now next is oxidation and reduction. It's also known as redox reaction. Redox is a type of chemical reaction in which the oxidation states of atoms are changed. Redox reactions are characterized by the actual or formal transfer of electrons between chemical species. Most often with one species undergoing oxidation while another species that undergoes reaction, reduction. See, if a substance gains oxygen during a reaction, it is said to be oxidized. If a substance loses oxygen during a reaction, it is said to be reduced. I have taken one example that is copper plus magnesium. Copper in this, in the product form, it is simply giving copper. Copper ions which is giving copper. In this reduction by gaining of electrons. Next for the magnesium. Magnesium in the product form. It is giving magnesium ions. That is what? Oxidation by loss of electrons. We can say that if a substance gains oxygen or loses hydrogen during a reaction, it is oxidized. If a substance loses oxygen 
or gains hydrogen during a reaction it is reduced corrosion is defined as the process in which metal with atmospheric moisture and chemicals resulting in the formation of rust iron articles are shiny when new but get coated with a reddish brown powder when left for some time this process is commonly known as rusting of iron some other metals also get tarnished in this manner when a metal is attacked by substance around it such as moisture acid etc it is said to be corroded and this process is called corrosion the black coating on silver and the green coating on copper are other examples of corrosion see corrosion causes damage to car bodies bridges iron railings shapes and to all objects which are made up of metals especially those of iron corrosion of iron is a very serious problem every year an enormous or huge amount of money is spent to replace damaged iron Now next is rancidity. Have you ever tasted or smelled the fat or oil containing food materials left for a long time? See, rancidity is a condition in which the substance with oil and fats get oxidized when they are exposed to air. A substance is said to be rancid. when there is a change in smell taste and color an example you can take an example of rancidity is when chips pack is exposed to atmospheric air which result in a change in taste and odor this is one of the best example of rancidity see student Usually substances which prevent oxidation which are also known as antioxidant are added to foods containing fats and oils keeping food in air tight containers helps to slow down oxidation so this is all about corrosion and rancidity